Mrs. Winifred Oyoita, head of civil service of the Federation, says the federal government has intensified efforts towards developing the public institute of Nigeria like the Harvard Public Training Institute. Oyoita said this in Abuja while inaugurating various projects at the PSIN under the public-private partnership. Oyoita noted that her office was able to construct this project through PPP and that it was the only way infrastructures could be developed in the institute to make it look like Harvard Public Training Institute and the London School of Government. The Public Service Institute of Nigeria is one of the lead management development institutes of the Office of Head of Civil Service of the Federation. Um, over the years, much has been expected of this institute, more so as it is the training institute for middle level civil servants and public servants. Now, when we came on board, uh, we realized that we need to expand our frontiers, considering the fact that uh, government is not, uh, um, you know, is facing some funding challenge and we cannot always be relying on government and appropriation for everything. So what we have done is to uh, ex examine various PPP models that uh, we can engage in, in getting this institute to function in such a way that we can develop the PSIN to become the, the, like the, the Harvard uh, uh, Public uh, Training Institute and so on in other in international, the, Lo the London School of Government and so on. So to do this, we, need, we needed to engage with uh, professionals in the private sector who are ready to share their, their knowledge and uh, also ready to share their resources with, with us. And so this is one of the reasons why we have this partnership with the HIIT, uh, Computer uh, Training Institute. Uh, it's one of the uh, foremost um, indigenous training, computer training institutes in the country. According to Oyoita, her office has been able to achieve its main goal of repositioning the institute through the PPP, insisting that the remaining goals would be pursued vigorously to meet President Muhammadu Buhari's next level agenda. Digitalization and, you know, developing an enterprise content management system. And to do this, we need to develop the, 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 the uh, automotive capacity of the civil uh, service. And it is from a program such as what we have with the HIIT that we are able to start building on that uh, framework, which of course is still aligned with the e-governance uh, vision of, of the uh, present uh, government of the day. On his part, Dr. Abdul Gadeyu or Bata Yimbo, said that they have put in place mechanisms that would ensure that quality projects were delivered at all times. Infrastructure is key. Apart from developing the content, reviewing the curriculum, the courses, in tandem with the strategic plan, that we have done. Now government is supporting us to ensure that the infrastructure is also there to back up the, uh, the training. And the commercial orientation company that is inviting the private sector, MNR, and friends of the to come and join us to ensure that we are, we are not able to do the funding, to bring in the resources and work together and ensure that the agreed payments are made to government. So, another one, Kelly, to events with many plans with the others to have the is improving. And as you can see yourself, facilities are now upgraded. If you can see more right now, we have over 1,800 police servants right now in this country. Right now as we speak now. Because the facilities are there. He also said that contractors have been engaged to ensure regular maintenance of facilities at the institute. Sustainability and uh, the, 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 we have crafted the agreement in such a way that people have to pay work for uh, subsidize with rather than leaving it. Well, then initially, the government did know. The rates have changed now and it's affordable. Because we're able to provide the services, people are prepared to pay. And it's a game of numbers. We have more customers now coming in. And so we are having more 
income that achieves the sustainability of this infrastructure.